you know, basically in a, in a nutshell, you know, um, I had a real good insurance uh, working for Glaciers uh, several years ago, uh, and they had this uh, wellness uh, awareness deal where it's a, a free physical for the insurance, and I went and literally did blood work and feeling great. Decided, let's you know, see how, how good I'm really doing, you know, cholesterol levels and everything else. And I was very slight anemic. And what the doctor told me was, men don't bleed. Nothing against female, but you're just nobody's just a, a typical anemic person. So they went for the uh, suggested a colonoscopy, and, and I had a colonoscopy done. And sure enough, all the way at the end of the uh, of the test, uh, at the end of my large intestine. Uh, the gentleman found a uh, tumor. Uh, it was called a carcinoid tumor the size of four quarters at the end of the large intestine uh, connected to the cecum. So basically from the very first reaction, just like anybody else and several friends you know, that have undergone you know, diagnosis uh, with cancer and everything else, it's like, why me? You know, you're, you're devastated, you cry. What do I do to deserve this? You, know, you pray to God and it's like, it's, it's the weirdest feeling. But from all stories that we hear, it's, uh, it, it can just happen with anybody. From there, he, he referred me to a Dr. Arayano, which was uh, a, a super guy, a robotics, laparoscopic uh, type surgery, four incisions into the belly, and uh, got it out. Basically, I was lucky where it was at the end of the large intestine versus in the middle where I didn't have to have one of those bags and resection the intestine or anything else. So basically cut off six inches, uh, get rid of it, reattach it to the uh, cecum and the small intestine and, and off I went. Uh, it was something where he says, oh, we do these all day long, three days in. It was a, a grueling eight days, you know, in the hospital that just never ended, the pain and, and everything. Men feel that, that we're, we're animals, we're, we're, <laughs> we're we're so strong that invincible type deals that, you know, we don't take care of ourselves the way that we should, you know. And this is something that just, it can happen to anybody. One of the biggest questions was, how long was it there? How many years was it growing forever and ever, or, or did it just happen overnight? And those are questions that not even the doctors could answer and not even I could research on or, or do anything. I, I felt great. There were no symptoms. Uh, Several friends looked into what some type of that type of tumor, because I suffered from a, acute acid reflex and and you know heartburn and stuff like that. But one would never think that something's growing inside of us until this just happened. And this happened oh, 2012, so we're talking a good five years ago. And in all honesty, I was 45 years old, waiting for 50 to to do something, and. Uh, Thank God for that insurance and you know the blood work and somebody smart to say, hey, this very slight, very slight anemic, you can't even see it in the urine, didn't detest it in the stool or, or, or anywhere. It was just there, you know? And one of the things that I stress is, and learning from this experience is that insurance or no insurance, there's several places out there that can give free medical help, free, free blood work. I would say to get out there a lot earlier, you know, uh, even late 20s, 30, you know, if, if you have the means, uh, or even if you don't have the means, you know, a, a simple little blood work. You know, there's several friends that, that really, you know, through something that was just irregular in your body was something that was really bad. So uh, I'd say get out there a lot earlier than, than waiting for 50 or, or wait until you're, you end up in the hospital or on the ground and, and then it's too late.